Like I'm so happy it's not hot. Yeah, we've been sitting here in uh, Leighton Buzzard for a couple of days. Minus well, a little been, bit of time for a trip down to London to see family. We've been here a week. We've been here a week. Yeah. Yeah. And a week. Uh, that means we've been baking, Cook basically. Cooking, yeah, yeah, it's like an oven, so we've been slow roasting inside of the boat. <laughs> and the last two days have been the first that have come along where it's been sort of... Bearable. Yeah. And it's today it's actually fresh. Today it's actually not frozen. Yes. <laughs> Overcast skies, potential of rain means cruising weather. Time to go. <laughs> and we're really ready to go. Like, we've yeah. got that itchy feet where you sit in a mooring for too many days. Yeah. We should have gone yesterday, but we did that thing where we got comfortable and it was like, oh, cruising's too Maybe much Maybe we effort. should do it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and it's been really nice, although there's been this, uh, this juicens right beside us, so there's been a... Um, beep, beep, beep. 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 Forklift it's reversing. reversing. <laughs> stand clear. <laughs> so I actually got this voice in my dream last night that was you going, stand clear. George is reversing. <laughs> so it's time to move. <laughs> time to move. So we're going to head down in the general direction of the Aylesbury Arm, uh, which is where we now have decided we are going to be for my brother's visit. My brother said he wanted to be somewhere where there was lots of locks, so... The Aylesbury Arm turns out there's lots of locks. Just springs to mind as 20-something <laughs> locks on a short pass. So, yeah. So he'll, he'll be regretting that soon. Might, might be. Leighton Buzzard has been really nice. Convenient, noisy. Nice walks for George Station. Train nearby, Tesco's nearby. And lots of friendly dogs. Oh, yeah. yeah. And less dog poo on the towpath. Yeah started Joe's garden. Uh, we've done a little bit of, of catching up on computer work and, and Joe's gotten a little bit ahead of herself now on the videos. And we're about two weeks behind in our upload which is unusual for us because usually we film it and then it's up the next day. So. Yeah. Dog's gone in the canal already this morning. You've gone to Tesco's and grabbed a few things. We're all ready to go. Engine's warmed up. Time to move on. There are eight miles and seven locks in front of us to the junction. Okay. So we're well, not sure how far we're going today. Or if we'll turn or if we'll stop before then. We're just, yeah. we're, I'm determined that we're not going to have like a really heavy day and we're not going to push right to the end in a rush because we don't, we've got till Sunday, it's Wednesday, we've got four days. To so get where we want to be positioned. So let's just do leisurely cruises and um, yeah, so hopefully just a few hours today. And uh, you said we got two miles to the next lock, you're going to walk George? Yeah, I'll walk George. All right, I'll push us off and get us on our way. Let's go. This is about the cleanest and most pristine. 
good. It's it works so well scrubbed. Joe has suggested we stop for lunch, and she's found us a nice spot uh, right between these two boats, directly across from this farm with that mountain of boat, which is why it smells a bit um, manure-y at the moment. But our lunch should be fragrant. Oh, that's good. One way or another, the cows are enjoying it. sausage sandwiches, vegetarian sausage sandwiches. Yes, not cow sausage sandwiches because the cows would be offended. Plus I don't eat them anyway. If it wasn't for the cows, We'd and, stop the, here. and the tractor going backwards and forwards with manure. And the smell. Really, really, the cows would be fine, the tractor would be fine. It's the, it's the aromatic sense of, of large amounts of stuff that's passed through a cow. And the flies, there's flies everywhere. I am guessing from the amount of manure that's hanging around. Yeah. But other than that, it's really nice. Yeah. And I think we would stop. If it weren't for all of that. But there is all of that. And, uh, and so we're not stopping. It's, it's actually been really pleasant, kind of, you know, countryside once we got past the, what's it called, the church lock. Uh, yeah, it's all been nice. And I think the fact that we're not in a rush, we're not in a mission to get somewhere like you usually are. Yeah. Wow. Look at that beautiful bird. Is that a bird? I don't know. And everywhere you go, you'll see signs anywhere within any distance of a power line. It says, no fishing near the power lines, no fishing anywhere near the power lines, risk of grievous bodily harm or death or something like that. I wonder if anybody's told the cormorants on the top of that high tension power pole. Diving hole locks completed. One perky little doggy saying hello. <sighs> On to the um, Seabrook locks, three of which are existent in the future. So, one thing I was just thinking about this is the view. As we head on towards London, we are about a one and a half hour drive right now from London. I've been living in Los Angeles for a while, and specifically in Venice Beach. An hour and a half drive from Venice Beach on a good day is Palmdale. You drive for an hour and a half, and what you're looking at is just miles and miles and miles of the city you're still in. And here, we have full on countryside. It's just amazing. We got somebody joining us on the lock this time. We got a whole family of signets. They decided to follow me in. We'll just be really careful going up. Swan family, goodbye. Very nice to have elevated with you. Right. 
Right, so that was uh, a couple hours? It was a couple, it was like four o'clock or something. Yeah, a few hours. As we left, we saw a sign that said 47 miles to Bronston. As we got down here, I saw 53 miles to Bronston. And uh, so yeah, basically six miles. I there. walked it all. Yeah. I didn't ride at all. Yeah. So here's the fun part. Um, from the time we got off this morning to the time we arrived, my brother traveled from Euston Station in London to Edinburgh. <laughs> so And probably went within half a mile of the boat. Yeah. But we made it five miles. <laughs> oh. That's a good day's work when you think about it. And then you realize maybe there's a reason why the trains took over from the canals. <laughs> that was a really, really nice little cruise. A um, little bit of adventure. So Michael's coming into the lock and um, and there's some swans like just hanging around and then they stop following him. So I try to get the gate shut before they come in, but like I'm too slow. So they're all in the lock. So we had to go really, really slowly. And then you fed them going up, which probably was the wrong thing to do because they're yeah. going to be like, oh, well, let's go in locks with boats because we get fed. It was pretty quiet today. We didn't meet too many boats. Um, we only shared out one lock with yeah. one boat. And we could see this really nice mooring in the shade. So we were like, oh, do you want to carry on or do you want to stop now? Because it's like four o'clock. And I was like, oh, I don't mind. But there's a really nice mooring in the shade there. So we could just stop there. Yeah, yeah, OK. Michael leaves the lock and I'm finishing shutting the gate. And then he goes cruising past the mooring. See, here's the thing. I've got this like single focus that happens when my head gets too hot. You know, it's basically I just lose half my brain power. So I heard her say that she wanted to keep going. Did not say I don't that. know how I heard her say that, but it's like earlier today, I'm sent in to make some lunch and I'm like, so what do you want? And she says, oh, some bread and hummus. And then and she says, oh, actually a sausage sandwich. So I come back with bread and hummus and sausages. Cause I didn't remember her saying sandwich. And I was like, here you go. I have provided everything. And the look of horror and disappointment on her face. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, because Michael went past this one mooring, we had to do one more lock. Yeah, that's fine. Because now we're sitting just before a uh, yeah. swing bridge, and and there's a nice little dog on the boat in front of us, and it's nice and shady right here. It yeah, probably won't be all that shady for the first thing tomorrow. First thing tomorrow, but we but might move on. Probably. But it'll be good for tonight. So a lot of the locks that we went through today. Um, you'd go through a bridge to get into the lock, but then next to it, there'd be another archway, um, which would just be towpath. But according to this, um, the bridges were built like that in the anticipation that there'd be um, another lock built. Interesting. So there'd be like a double pairing lock kind of yeah. for two-way traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah. Well. Apparently it didn't happen. So, that's enough. We've talked forever. She's going to be editing this for a month. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, uh, click the bell, and subscribe. Hello. Just going for the Elvis look. I've gone for the not sun on my neck look. And uh, cruising how? What? I don't know. Stand clear. Michael reversing. Off the end of the boat. Off the end of the boat. <laughs> Stand clear. Michael reversing. <laughs> Which is part of the reason. Part of the reason. <laughs> probably part of the reason. Congratulations on getting... Train. Train? Ah. Well, there's a train again. And a helicopter. And a helicopter. Guys, there's food coming. Oh yeah, George, you're excited now. You'll see it. You'll know if it has. I won't know yet because I'll be in the future. Yeah. Anyway. This is what he means about when it's hot, his brain doesn't work. It just doesn't happen naturally. I'm, I'm a Canadian... Uh, you know, I'm an American and Canadian. Yes, but I'm an American and Canadian by birth. I was born in Oklahoma. I'm not supposed to be that smart to begin with. And on the other that's, side, that's controversial. <laughs> I'm Canadian, so I'm supposed to only work in really, really low temperatures, right? So we've we've just got this, you know, confusion of problems. <sighs> I don't think it's that controversial, even, even to Oklahomans. Okay. <laughs> it's like Anything else? No. That's
I'm not saying it's something we don't know. It's anybody who moves to a place that routinely gets hit by tornadoes, you know, like, like, or stays in a place that just constantly gets hit for tornadoes. And sometimes those tornadoes pick up bundles of snakes and, and, you know, like, like they'll go through some of the incredibly flat fields and they'll hit some of the little, you know, ditches full of uh, copperheads or water moccasins or whatever it's called and and they'll they'll pick up living snakes bundles of breeding snakes and then drop them on small towns oh this isn't a place you live if you're like completely committed to you know what's up common sense apparently there's some mainline bears fund our 75 year exploration of ouch never mind Right, I don't think I've got anything else to say. Have you got anything else to say? Oh, I've got lots to say, but at the end of the day, I'm not sure everybody wants to listen. Have yeah. you got anything else to say that's relevant to this video? Oh, um...